So the cause of freedom did not exist. This terror label denies the Iranian people's right to achieve freedom and it is an attempt to destroy the resistance of a nation against a religious dictatorship. This label led to bombing of PMOI camps in Iraq in 2003 and five years of restrictions on PMOI in Iraq and the brutal attack to the office of NCRI in Paris on June 17, 2003 by the French police. Because of the terror label, the Iranian regime had a freer reign to torture, execute, as well as to export terrorism during the past decade. Many children lost their parents or parents lost their beloved children. Fortunately, by virtue of their courageous and historic initiative, the members of British Parliament did not allow the shame of this policy to be placed on the people of Britain. They stood alongside the Iranian people, and allow me to refer briefly to a fraction of what was revealed during the hearing. In his witness statement, a foreign office official admitted, and I quote, Iranian ministers and officials have chosen to discuss the PMOI with their counterparts from the UK and other EU member states on countless occasions. The present Iranian regime puts a priority on tough legal and political measures against the PMOI. End of quote. Regarding the PMOI proscription, the same official said, and I quote, foreign policy considerations have played a part in decisions relating to the proscription of the PMOI. In 2001, the FCO provided the Home Office with advice on the foreign policy benefits of prescribing the PMOI." End of quote. He also acknowledged that the same recommendation was made in 2006. We call for the disclosure of all behind the scenes negotiations with the Mullah's regime, which led to the proscription of the PMOI. The same Foreign Office official further state, stated that relations with Iran was important in order to encourage Iran to address international concerns in areas that affect the UK interests including its support for terrorism. This is paying ransom to terrorists, not combating terrorism. And he continues, and I quote, there was also, there was also a belief that reassuring Iran of our intention to apply the law against the PMI would help foster the atmosphere of confidence that would be needed for a successful negotiation. End of quote. This is Boeing 
to the Mullah's dictatorship, not enforcing the law. This is making a mockery of the rule of law in response to the Iranian regime's demand to deal with the PMOI in the course of the war in Iraq, the foreign office official said, and I quote, UK officials reassured their Iranian, their Iranian counterparts that we would take the problem of the PMOI in Iraq seriously. End of quote. And they took it very seriously and did by bombing PMOI camps in Iraq repeatedly on some nights 90 to 120 times. The UK government was aware of the PMOI neutrality in the war. Coordinates of all PMOI camps had been given to government ministers by a number of the appellants. The relevant documents were revealed during the hearing, yet to carry favor with the mullahs, they bound the PMOI. As noted by one of the judges, bombing those stating their neutrality beforehand amounts to a war crime. During the hearing, it was also revealed that most of closed materials essentially benef benefited the PMOI's case and undermined the terror label. Slanders and false testimony by agents of the Iranian regime, Ministry of Intelligence, make up a substantial part of the closed material. This is the duty of the resistance to inform the Iranian people with the detail of this issue and reveal the names of the Mullah's intelligence agents. دوستان عزیز هموطنان گرامی فرازی از پیام رئیس جمهور برگزیده مقاومت به کنفرانس مطبوعاتی که در لندن در روز نهم آذر ماه دقایقی بعد از صدور حکم رأی دادگاه انگلستان تشکیل شده بود این پیام فرستاده شد رو شده بود رو با هم دیگه دیدیم در این فاصله هم دکتر علی صفوی از اعضای کمیسیون خارجه شورای ملی مقاومت ایران هم به جمع ما در استدیو استودیو سیما آزادی ملحق شدن آی سببی سلام میکنم خیلی خیلی خوش آمدید و به شما تبریک میگم شما هم یکی از کسانی بودید که از ابتدا در جریان موضوع دادگاه بودید و دنبال میکردید خیلی خیلی خوش آمدید من هم سلام عرض میکنم خدمت شما خدمت خانم پادابخش خانم نروزی و آقای توحیدی و همینطور سلام و درود فراوان دارم خدمت هم میهنان عزیز در هر کجا که هستن اجازه بدیم که مقدمتا این پیروزی در افشان رو به خواهر مریم و رهبری مقاومت و همینطور به برادران مجاهدن در شهر پایداری و مقاومت شهر اشرف و همینطور خل قهرمان ایران تبریک بگم اجازه بدین البته من اینجا بحث فعالیت های چندین ساله مجاهدین و مقاومت ایران در انگلیس بود یادی بکنم از سه تن از شهدای مقاومت ایران سه تن از شهدای مجاهد که در بخش روابط بین المللی بودند در سالها قبل 